Hey everyone, it's GarishGrun4475 here, bringing you a Minecraft tutorial. And today it will be on an automatic sorting system. So, as you can see here, it is pretty compact. A 1 for 1 chest, you're going to need a 2 by 13 by 4 tall area. And yeah. Uh, you can also expand it as much as you want. It's just the same thing over and over. And this thing, the water stream, will also be the same. Uh, up here is optional. This is just to dispense or drop your items into the water. You can do it manually if you would like. And it can sort anything that is stackable up to 64 items. I have not made it work yet with uh, non-stackable items. Also, do I have any items on me? Here, let's go over here. I have a woo demonstration here I'll show you. I have a ores that you might find here, over here. I also have a wool and a random chest, so anything else you throw in will go to the random chest. And yeah, so how about we grab, let's do, here, yeah, let's just grab some wool. Okay, so we'll come over to this one and put the wool in. Now, once you put this in, it will go through the hopper into the dropper, and uh, <laughs> the comparator will detect if there's any items in the dropper and send a pulse to it, which will spit it out into the water stream. It will go over the hopper that has its items in it, go into the hopper. This comparator back here will detect if there's um, more than a certain number of items in it, and it will light up the next piece of redstone, which will then call for the cart. The cart will go pick up one item and come back. And yeah. So let's go ahead. Put our wool in. You can hear it dispensing. We can watch it go through. There it is. And it looks like it went in this hopper. So the chest will be called. And it will go back and forth. And we can watch this chest right here filling up. Nice. And here comes the purple wool. And it looks like it went in that one. So it'll be called. And yeah. It is pretty fast. Although some flaws to it are. Let me grab some wool. Lime wool. Let's get some more. And orange. Let's make sure we have lime and orange. We do. So if you do want to put in more than two stacks of an item. A stack has to be separated by a stack. So what I mean is you can put in a stack 64, but you can't put this one next to it. It has to be separated by a stack. That is a flaw that's going to break down in any sorting system you will find or try and build. It's just the way the hopper works and the comparator detects. So a stack does have to be separated by a stack. And this is one of the only survival-friendly automatic sorting systems I've seen out there. Because all the others... Ha use a combination of chest and trap chests, and they are also monster behind them. As you can see, this is very compact and can go on as far as you like it. And it also works on any axis, so it could be facing this way, and it will still work. So, yeah, now let's get to the tutorial. And we're back. So, once again, you will need a 13 by two wide by four tall area to build one section that sorts one type of item and to build one section you will need two chesses one minecart with chest one block of ice or any other block ice just makes your items get sorted faster one block of redstone 12 pieces of redstone one redstone comparator two repeaters four torches six hoppers, three rails, and two powered rails. Also to build the water stream and the automatic like dispenser, you will need like two more comparators and another hopper and water and stuff like that. So let's start building. So first we're gonna get our sixteen I mean uh sorry thirteen by two by four area of land ready 
We are just going to build it elevated and we are going to make it out of iron. It does not matter what type of block you make it out of. But it will matter, I'm pretty sure, for the ice, which I will show you guys in a second. You are going to place two chests like that. And then one, two, three, four. All feeding into that chest. And one right on top of that hopper. That's the one that the minecart will go over and drop the items into. Next, back here, you are going to want to place two blocks. And right here, one block up, one block next to there, and over like that. You can also cover up those hoppers right there. Uh, place the block right here. Do a power rail. Then here, let's place another couple blocks right here. Do a redstone block right there. So power rail, regular rail, regular, regular, and powered. Don't put any more powers on this or it won't work and it will go too fast. Then up here, you're going to place one block like that. And go ahead, put your hopper right on top of this rail. And you'll be good. Now you can go ahead and place the cart if you would like. And also, since we can't run a redstone line like this or it will affect this hopper, we are going to move a block up one like that, like that, and then we can go back down. Let's get rid of that block, and down, and perfect. So, what you're going to do down here is put a repeater here so it won't interfere with that hopper right there, because if it was redstone, it would. So you have to put a repeater there, and a torch here. A block on top of the torch and a torch there then a piece of redstone here this will when it calls for the cart it will turn on turn on the power rail and send the cart next what you're gonna do is put a comparator here and another one two three blocks out this way and you're gonna put one two pieces of redstone one repeater and you're gonna need oh keep that on standard yeah, just place the repeater there and put another piece of redstone here. Then on this piece of redstone, you are going to place a torch, a piece of redstone there, and then invert the signal and run it all the way to your call system. Now what you're going to do is get a minecart chest. Put it right here. And... Also, if you want to make it tileable, oh, I said that word weird. You're going to have to put ice here. Oops, ice right there. I don't think you can put a standard block because the redstone won't go through it. Or you might be able to. Let's see. Well, yeah, I think you could. But I like using ice because it makes it go a lot faster. And now what you want to do is the last thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get, I think it's 23 items. And you're going to have to put it in this hopper. So say we wanted to sort. Let's go. Hmm. What should we sort? Uh. Here. We'll sort emeralds. So what you're going to do. Go in the hopper. You're going to go ahead and place. Them just like this. So that's 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So you're going to need 22 of the items. My bad. Uh, you can put one there, one like that. You can spread them all out. It doesn't matter. And what this will do is when one more item gets placed in the hopper, it will power this redstone, which will call for the cart. Uh, so, just so you guys can see it better. Oh, what am I doing? Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so... I'm going to put an item in, and you will see the cart come, pick up the item, go back, and it will go into the chest. Okay, ready? So, one item's in, it calls for the cart, the cart picks it up, and it goes into the chest. And now that you guys know how to build one, and you built a lot next to each other, I'm going to teach you how to do the water stream. So first, what you're going to want to do is put a cage around the blocks. And also one next to the first hopper. And this, don't use an ice block. Use a regular block because 
when the dropper shoots the items out, sometimes they just start like flinging everywhere. And with this block, it will slow them down and the ice won't speed them up. So you're going to go ahead and just extend this however long you built it. I recommend doing it in segments of four because that's usually how long the water runs. Maybe a little more. So we're going to do that. Then you're going to place your first water stream. And I'm looking for one other thing, which, there it is. So you're going to go ahead and place your first water stream, well, before that, <laughs> grab a dropper or dispenser. Man, things are really being buggy. And you are going to put it facing downwards right at that block. So, oops, one more down. Perfect. And put that block back. So now we'll dispense it right onto that block. Make sure it's facing down. Go ahead, put the water right under it. And it will go all the way here. And um, put a sign right here. And the only reason why that is, is so it will stop this water from flowing backwards. And you can go down here and go ahead and put another sign and extend it as ever, however far you want. And then put a lid on it to prevent items from jumping or shooting out. Perfect. Then, to build the automatic timer circuit, you are going to need another two comparators and one repeater, along with some redstone. You are going to mine that piece of glass, put a block there, also this one, and put a block there. And going to make like a little hollow 3x3 three three square. Then you're going to do a comparator facing out, a piece of redstone, a repeater, either a block or a piece of redstone here. Then another piece of redstone, piece of redstone, and comparator facing the dropper or dispenser. And then you can go ahead and place a hopper on top of that and a chest on top of that. It can also be a double chest and whatever you put in will be shot out into your sorting system. And now some of you guys may be saying, how is this thing going to look good? So I built this little house. There's a chest for sorting ores, a chest for sorting wool. If you come down to their basement, there's the big sorting room. And it doesn't look that bad. And the lamp up there tells you when it is being sorted. So as you can see, the yellow wool is being sorted. And is the blue wool being sorted? No, it isn't. Uh, looks like this stuff is done. I just threw in a bunch of random stuff before I came down here. And so it can look pretty good. And I added this little section down here. And yeah, I just did want to show you that once you build it, it is worth it in the end. And you can make the room a square, a rectangle, you can make it all zigzagged. It will still work as long as the redstone outside is fine. Let's go out there really quick. Ah. So it's the same exact thing you saw in the tutorial. It still sorts eight items. It's just I have hoppers under a chest that will transfer it to oops. That will transfer it to the dropper. That will then drop the items into the water stream. Same for the other side. And the reason why there's two sorting systems is because I was too lazy to wire the rod or water around. But otherwise, it works. Once again, thanks for watching this video. I am GarishGrun4475. Stay tuned for more tutorials and updates on this automatic sorting system. I am working on it, and I think I've already found a better way to make it smaller. And yeah, once again, I'm GarishGrun4475, and see you later.